Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, we're gonna do my monthly favorites here, it's only because the other station is a hot mess express right now, okay? There's just a whole bunch of PR and stuff that I have sorted out. I didn't get to like actually really organize it, so I, I have to film here right now. But that doesn't matter because we are going to talk about the items that I have been gravitating towards, been obsessed with, absolutely love the month of December. I know December is not over, but I've actually been really enjoying these. Some of them since like November. Some of these items were featured just recently here on my channel, but I've been using them behind the scenes for much longer than just like a week or two. I film in advance and then I just put up videos as the days go by. So you get to see it when you see it, but I've been using it behind the scenes for a longer period of time, if that makes sense. I'm gonna start off my favorites with the scents, the his and her scents that we have been obsessed with. Now, I have mentioned a few scents in the previous two to three videos. I told you guys that I would make this like part of my videos on a monthly basis for the next few months, just so that I can give you guys ideas of scents and what we smell like over at my house. I have a uh, his and hers right here to talk to you guys about. These are by the brand Dossier. I absolutely love Dossier because perfume are expensive, okay? Dossier creates scents inspired by luxury perfume. I have Woody Basil over here, and this one is inspired by YSL Home. Now, this is the YSL fragrance for men. This smells absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, I like keeping the cards because it tells you all the notes on it. I promise you, it literally smells the same. I've heard maybe one or two people say, no, it doesn't smell the same. It does. I went to Sephora with my perfume on, my Dossier perfume, and they were like, oh my God, are you wearing Carolina Herrera? And I was like, no, but, and they were like, it smells just like it. It does. It lasts a really long time on you once you like spray it on. And I'm gonna tell you this, um, they are affordable. They start at just $29, which is wonderful. And these are gonna last you a really long time. I no longer will pay for a full size perfume that is high end and luxe. Now that I've discovered a dossier, and the funny thing is that my husband absolutely loves these scents too. So yeah, this one is YSL Home, the YSL for Mac. And mine is Oriental Oak Moss. This one is actually inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And actually, it is what I smell like right now. So if anyone were to come up to me and hug me, that's what I smell like. It comes in great packaging. The cap is an actual magnetized closure. And they are totally worth every single penny. So make sure you guys check the link in the description box. So make sure you use the discount code in order to save even more money. Let's move right along to primers, guys. Here is one, okay? RMS Beauty has their, um, what is it? The Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. First of all, the packaging got me because you're just like, okay, ping. And then you just pump it. It feels like a moisturizer, but it has luminosity to the skin. She's amazing, okay? She feels good on the skin. And my foundation just, I don't, I, it just transforms my foundation. That's just what it is. I, I really, really love this one. So I have her in front of me at all times. But then I also kind of fell in love, really fell in love with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Now I've tried the Luminous one, this one. It is literally the perfect dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas in shade, in formulation. It does the very same freaking thing, okay? So I would never reinvest in the Tatcha because I have this. So if you haven't tried this, you really need to. It's amazing. You need it. Powders. There are two powders that I've become obsessed with. We have the Bella Pierre Banana Powder in medium because now they have three. I recently shared it in a video. I put up a Reels that I worked on like two weeks ago. This is so good. This one's in medium. It is all over my skin. I set my entire foundation. Y'all know I don't set my foundation with any powder. I set my under eyes and my entire skin with this because it's so freaking good. I loved the original but I think I like the medium even more because it matches me spot on. Then we have my Givenchy powder and I love it. Okay, this is the Prisma Libre in Mousseline Acidule. Lilu, Lilu. Is that in French? Probably, I'm not sure, but it's in the number four and I love it. You get all four colors and then when you kind of go like this, you're gonna get the perfect blend to set your skin. Now, I don't set my entire face with it solely because it just kind of makes me look a little lighter than I like. 
However, I do like it for my under eyes because it makes my under eyes look absolutely flawless. So if I want to like really go glam, I would use this one to kind of overly brighten my under eyes a little bit. I don't even have to bake because it just does it on its own. And my under eyes look amazing. Like airbrush okay so i would use this one for that and then for like my everyday this has been my go-to foundation there has been only one foundation that i've used for the past three weeks four weeks four weeks whenever i am going to use foundations and it is the she glam oh it's backwards the she glam foundation now this one is the skin finite hydrating foundation i got mine in the shade golden it's what's on my skin right now spot on color it did not oxidize on me it looks amazing it doesn't like really add radiance and luminosity to the skin right it doesn't but it just gives you the most beautiful coverage two pumps does it for my entire face i've been using a brush i'm gonna show you the brush it's gonna be dirty i'm gonna fall on you the brush is dirty as hell but that's not the point the point is i'm gonna show you the brush that i've been using I've been using it for a few weeks now and i like i am in love with it okay but i'm using a brush and this with my brush look at this foundation just two pumps amazing love it and it's affordable i think it was like six bucks or something like that affordable if i were to run out of this i would totally replenish it totally advise you guys check it out now you guys know there's been like this TikTok went viral hack with the nyx cosmetics white jumbo pencil where they're going like along like the high points of their face to create this like beautiful highlight i know you guys know exactly what i'm talking about here's the issue though that doesn't work for everyone that white may be too white for most of us like it's way too white for my skin complexion and you might think but well, you have it on your face right now no mama i don't i found another version that would work for girls who are my complexion and darker if you're lighter than me the white jumbo pencil will work beautifully as you can see on tiktok but if you're my skin complexion or darker then i advise you guys grab the girl lactic what are you called the glow on the go this one is in jet setter it is what i have on my inner corners right here on the bridge of my nose and then the tip and then i just dragged it a little bit and it just gives you that luminosity this one is more of a champagne with a little bit of luminosity but it's gonna look beautiful on tan and darker skin tones a highlighter i really 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 have been loving is by the rms beauty it is their living luminizer look how good that looks okay amazing it is what is on my cheeks right now it is cream it doesn't emphasize texture like in a weird way like powders can tend to do it gives you that wet luminous kind of glowy look without overdoing it i don't look greasy which i love and it is literally what i have like on my cheeks right now that's all i have on my cheeks and it has been one of my go-to luminizers now if i wanted to add a little bit of like highlight to my skin without overdoing it but i also want blush i'm using a two-in-one i am using the blush drops by rodeal mine are in frosted pink I've been using this since Rodeo sent it to me in PR and it has been everything. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. Oh wait, I have one more blush that I want to show you guys. Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Beauty Light Wand in Pink Gasm. Absolutely love her. I love the packaging itself. I know it looks empty, but it's not, okay? Um, you twist it to open it to release product, and then you twist it to close it so that you're like sealing it. And I literally have probably squeezed out of it twice because it absorbs so much at the top that you can always revisit and just pounce it into place. Blend it in. It gives you this like... This look that I have going on, I could have gotten it with just this. I didn't do it this time around because I was doing a tutorial. But, I mean, this product, it looks amazing on the skin, okay? And if you have a little bit of money that you want to invest in yourself and gift yourself something amazing that'll add luminosity, that'll make you feel, like, real bougie, this is one I recommend. Let's talk eyebrows. The Benefit Cosmetics 24-Hour Brow Setter is amazing, okay? I have, like, a travel size now. Thank you very much to Benefit. Uh, you have a dual ended applicator it's flat on either side and then you have like little brush hair pla they're plastic uh like around the perimeter of it so what i like to do is i like to comb up and then comb, like back home because i'm saturating the hair with the product that is on the little spatula once i do that i comb up again and then i use like the flat side to flatten the hair as i'm combing and shaping them 
Now I really like this because it doesn't leave white residue. Think of it as like real hair gel or hairspray for your brows. It freezes them in place. They don't move around. They do feel a little like on the hard side, but that's how you know they're like locked into place, but they're not gonna leave this weird white residue that brow soaps can do sometimes or like just brow gels at times can do, which kind of pisses me off when it does that because when my look has come together in such a beautiful way and then like your brow product ruins it, it sucks. So this is one I totally recommend. If you haven't tried it, you totally should. And then Rare Beauty. At first, I didn't care for this to be fair. Um, and I also thought that this little like applicator was too small. And then I'm like, oh my God, that is the smallest little spoolie I've ever seen in my life. But I have learned to gravitate toward this more than anything else. I never use the mirror because it's just like, really, it is tiny AF. It is convenient to have it just in case somebody needs it. Um, so I never really use the mirror, but these powders, so good. The gray I was using when my hair was lighter. Clearly we've gone back to the dark side. But this black, it's not like the like the deepest black ever, but it's just black enough to match my hair. Mm, which makes me really happy. That is what is on my brows right now. And I noticed that whenever I pack to go away for the weekend, this is one of the products that I fluctuate between. It's like one other product, which is by Benefit Cosmetics, or this one. So this makes me really happy to have. Makeup brushes. Mm. I recently featured these on my channel. Took me forever to put the video up. I'm very sorry for that. Um, but I've been using them a lot behind the scenes because they're so good. So the BK Beauty 101, by the way, I didn't even know an influencer was the founder of that brand. I didn't know that. Now I know that. I am glad that I didn't know that because my reviews are always authentic and it came out as authentic as possible. I had no idea, but I'm so happy that she created these brushes and I'm grateful that they sent them my way because they're amazing, okay? So I just used this one. This is the foundation brush that I've been using for my face, okay? Because it's so good. It's the BK Beauty 101. My bronzer, I actually swapped from my uh, base blue brush, my 10 year brush. You guys love that brush. So many of you guys have snagged that brush because it is amazing. However, I've really been liking this one a lot. So I figured give the other one a little bit of a break because I really liked this one. This is the 103 bronzing brush. Then we have the 104 powder brush, which I've been using to powder my skin with my Bella Pierre Banana powder. And then this is the one, uh, the 108, that I didn't even know I had. And it was kind of late to use because I had already set my under eyes. But this one is to set your under eyes and look how good it like fits this area. Love her, okay? love her and you know when you get like slightly greasy like here this is way too much and it would kind of like remove the luminosity that i have here that i like so that mm, right but this one just hits those points in such a precise way i love these brushes and i'm so happy that so many of you have already tried these brushes and have been raving about it in that video saying oh my god i didn't know you hadn't tried them before they're amazing these brushes were so well made three eyeshadow palettes that i've been rotating behind the scenes and like for videos whenever i am not doing a tutorial the first one is this one don't be mad at me i know you guys don't really care for Morphe most of the time and Jaclyn Hill, I get it, but it is a great palette. I love her and for the price point, $18. I am not mad at her, okay? But I have been using this a lot behind the scenes. It's a great palette, great formulation, and it's just easy to put a look together because all the like shades, the color story is beautiful, so you can always just create something amazing with that palette. Then the Ico Limitless 2 palette look. Okay, so it is a smaller version of this one in a sense, and it doesn't have a really deep shade that you can use in order to create like a real smoky eye other than this one, and that's kind of like on the red side, but it's okay. The pigmentation, the quality, everything is there. I mean, mira, okay, it, it, it's a beautiful palette. No complaints, and the fact that it has a really nice sized mirror, chun, 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 we can check ourselves out. This palette has been really nice, and it's small, so it's really nice to travel with. And then the last item and palette I wanna show you guys is the Citrine palette. It is the Intentional Beauty by Lindsay Sterling, and it is in collaboration with Bella Pierre, so this is a collab palette. This palette is beautiful. This is a palette I highly suggest for anyone to snag if you're on the market. 
for great quality palette that you can create a series. Uh, this is such a bad swatch. I can't get my finger in there. But a palette that has a beautiful color story, great formula, that a little bit is gonna go a very long way. The eyeshadows are so soft. I was kind of rough on that one, which is unfair, but you guys have seen me use it in a video and were impressed. It is one of the ones that I've been showing so much love to behind the scenes. Now those were all my beauty favorites. Do we have any of these in common? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give me your feedback on these items and let me know what has been your beauty favorite this month. Again, do not forget to check out Dossier Perfumes. The link and all that information will be in the description box for you guys. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you guys hooked me up with another thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.